February 13th, uh, there's a problem. Well, well, not yet, but could be. Thing is, it's, it is it is cold here. I mean, no exaggeration, it has not got above minus 8 in weeks, and it, it tends to linger between sort of 12 and 14, minus 12 and minus 14. I'm, I'm old, and that's that's cold. With wind chill taking it down another 5 or 7 degrees, that's the, the, the threat of frostbite is actual. I mean, exposed skin will actually freeze in a matter of minutes. So, <clears throat> it, it, it seems a little odd to see insects in the room. I'm sure it, it makes a certain amount of sense for them to want to be inside on a winter's day. We all do. I just kind of wonder, where are they coming in from? They cannot have crawled or flown up from some nest out there. Nothing is alive, unprotected, and minus 25. An average low temp, usually around 3 a.m. Oh, yes, those previously mentioned figures are the daily highs. So really, I can only conclude that the sluggishly crawling wasp on my floor, the sluggishly flying wasp that couldn't get an inch above the floor, the, the, the ant crawling on my door frame, the, the disconcertingly resilient cockroach came from inside the house. My slowly arrived at point being, if there have been four insects in, 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 in this one room during the coldest winter in 30 years, what the hell is this place going to look like in spring? You know, worms in the bathroom, a beehive in the top corner of the hall, scorpions in the bed? I mean, yes, I exaggerate, but still it does present a rather creeping prospect. One wasp I nearly stepped on, the other one crawled across my foot. I mean, what happens when they can actually fly and are not too cold to defend themselves? I have an image of this whole house honeycombed with hives and nests and ant trails and the plumbing all full of cockroaches. Well, I, I, I do enjoy winter. I'll, I'll sleep well while I can. 